Hey everybody, welcome to Meddling World. Today I'm over here at Sarasota Springs Resort. It's a Disney Vacation Club resort, also known as Deluxe. And today we're going to eat lunch at the Artist Palette. They have some new menu items we're interested in trying, so come on in, check it out. So guys, as we, I'm gonna walk in, as we do on Meddling World, we'll walk in together into the artist palette. But I did wanna let everybody know, I've never been to this resort before. So this is the first time I've been here. The artist palette is actually quick service, but they have some new menu items that they just came out with actually yesterday. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna try some of the new menu items. We'll let you know how they are. And then you'll be updated if you're coming to hang out here uh, or resort, resort hopping, which what we did do today. I'll get a little bit more into detail of how you can access this if you're not staying, because we're not we're not staying overnight. We're just here hanging out. But I am definitely going to come back here and do a whole tour on this resort. Uh, not today, but I will be back here because I'm already loving this resort. is awesome. Let's walk in together, guys. Uh, again, quick service. Let's check out the theming. It is the artist palette. Again, never been here. Never been here before, so let's check it out. You guys can see the decor here, so yeah. Lights are really cool, huh? Pretty neat. And typical quick service. So you'd walk in here, this is all your quick service. They do have the grab and go over here. You can do mobile order as well. And this is kind of neat because they got all the quick service here. They got the grab and go. Let's go take a look quick. Ah, here's one of the new menu items right here, guys. The horseshoe cake. That's one of the new items just came out yesterday. And what I really like is they have the illustration now at a lot of the quick service. So you can kind of see what you're getting. There it is. That's the new one. Chocolate nut filled apple buttercream and horseshoe decor. That's the dessert. But there's a number of <clears throat> um, regular lunch items and dinner items. There is a meatloaf. It's available after 4 p.m. It's lunchtime, so we won't get that one, but I can show you some of the pictures up there. That pizza is new. Let me see if I can get a better shot. The pizza right there is new, along with all those items. So one, two, three, and five, all new items. So it's beef on wet. Tuna salads, no, the tuna salad is not new, guys. The number three, hot ham and cheese panini is new. I think there was another new one. I know the pizza's new. We'll have to check the menu. I know there's one, they might have not updated the picture. I think it's kind of like uh, a turkey with cheese and bacon. We'll find out about that one, but let's see. We were definitely gonna order uh, a couple of the new things, but I do want to just kind of show you what it's like in here So you can come in and just do your grab and go They have the Refrigerators here you can just grab things So you don't always have to, to wait in a line or do a mobile order You can just grab things and what I think is cool about this one. Let's actually walk around this way so I can show you Is I really like the way it's set up where it's just kind of central um, Where they have also their retail oh and they have some of the halloween merch which i did a vlog on recently oh so cool man so yeah you kind of can just one area right here where everything is which i really like just nice and open and then like i said we'll come back and we'll do a full tour we'll go through the whole resort but today it's all about the artist palette Let's get some items in, let's try them. So I kind of wanted to talk about, I was talking about how we got in here today, is we're not staying on property of the resort. So you have some options. Uh, right now, at a lot of the Disney resorts, um, they're not really allowing people to drive in to eat, but you can take a chance. And today it did work out for us. We drove right in, we talked to security, we said, hey, there's some new menu items. We just wanted to go in and try them at the quick service. He said, go right ahead, have a great day. So it kind of depends who the security person is and how busy it is, if they're going to allow you to come in just to eat. So we did get lucky. You can always give it a try. Um, but if you're staying on property, uh, there are several ways you can do it. If you're at any of the parks, right, you can take the transportation 
uh, that's offered. So bus uh, comes here, and also if you're at Disney Springs, um, particularly Disney Springs, there's boat service that comes here. So Disney Springs, you can get on one of the ferries, the water taxis. It's free. Uh, it will um, bring you here. You can come, hang out. Now, I do want to let you know about if you do utilize a water taxi, if there's inclement weather. So you got here and you wanted to take the water transportation back. If there's inclement weather, a lot of times they will not run that. So you may have to take the bus back to Disney Springs. But you can also take bus from Disney Springs or any of the four parks. Um, so that's a way that you can do it. So there's a lot of different ways. Again, take a chance. If you want to try to drive in, like I said, that's that's not always going to work though. So that's your options. And Roberta went up because she has an allergy. So a lot of times if she wants something that she thinks could be uh, cause her an allergy, what's great with Disney is they do have the mobile order. But for allergy, I do recommend you go up and you talk to one of the cast members because they will actually prepare the meal um, separately. So there's no cross-contamination. So important to know about your allergies. Ooh, a little shaky with the camera there, guys. But as soon as the food comes back, we'll try it out. All right, guys. So I was telling you about Roberta with her allergy, and we had to go up rather than do the mobile order. So these menu items we got are so new <laughs> that the cast members were like, oh, yeah. So there's a little bit of confusion. But we're going to explain everything, and let me show you at least what we got so far. I showed you that horseshoe cake. This is the turkey pimento BLT. Now, this is the one I got to talk about in a second. And it, right, okay, so what happened is this is actually a grab-and-go sandwich, which we didn't realize um, because the picture they show of it, right, on their official Disney website shows the sandwich eats, yes. with the chips. So right now, it's just a grab-and-go sandwich. You just grab it out of the fridge, um, which even the cast members weren't really sure, so they actually had to give us a side of chips with it because it is advertised to come with chips. So there's still some confusion there. Um, I kind of thought this was a made-to-order, like you would order it and they would make it fresh, but no, it is... It's grab-and-go and also grab and Italian, go. the Italian sub. Well, the Italian sub is not a new item, though. Correct. Italian well, I'm sub. I'm saying they are both on the fridge and they both... Look at this kid. He's... he's <laughs> He's, he's actually devoured half these chips. So, but the cast member was awesome because yeah. they did honor it and they said that they, they're still working on but the adjustments. It's not supposed to be. And not, when you grab out of the fridge, you're not supposed to done with the house. Yeah, yeah, so technically you were supposed to just get the sandwich, but because Disney's official website does show that, hey, this is the price with the chips, they did give us the chips, which was cool. And Roberta with her allergy, this is what, so if you have an allergy in your order, this is how it's going to come out. It's all sealed up. So now this is something else. Because of allergy, the, the, the chips, chips could be cross-contaminated. So they do give us, they do give us lace chips instead of the house-made chips. So if you do have allergy in your order, keep in mind that you may receive one of that instead of the... Yeah. Because it could be cross-contamination. So you can get a bag of chips. And this one um, did actually come the way that it was advertised. Let's have a look at it. This is the beef on weck. So it should have horseradish sauce on it. Which I'm guessing is this one. Oh, it's on the side, but it is actually, oh, yep. Yeah. So they put it on the side. Uh, and this is the? The oju. So originally the horseradish is supposed to come on the bun, but maybe because of the yeah. cross-contamination possibility, they put it separate for Roberta. So, Jake's actually already started. Have you tried the, the sandwich yet, Jake? What do you think of it? It's pretty good. Yeah? You can taste everything uh, quite decently. The pimento, I can smell it. It smells really good. Yeah, you can taste everything in my opinion. I yeah. also take a sauce, which, I also taste the sauce, which I don't know how to describe the taste. I'll try it, I'll try it. It could be the pimento, there's a cheese, right? Pimento cheese, it's so that's good. probably what you're tasting. It's an eight out of 10. Eight oh, out of 10 for just a grab and go? I'm gonna have to try that. And uh, Jake, how about these chips you've been throwing down? They're pretty good, salted nicely. Yeah, chips are good. I can't wait to try this. I already told you guys what was in that. I don't have a description because this is so new that they only have a picture of it. They didn't even have the description on the 
Um, yeah, it's not even I mean, on the mobile water. Yeah. yeah. So the, yeah, you actually you had to go up to get the horseshoe cake, but Everything. I did explain what was in it. This one too. Oh, okay. So all of it. So Roberta's preparing that. We're gonna go ahead. We'll try this out for you guys. This is why we vlog the way we do. Please, actually, guys, take a moment, subscribe to Meddling World if you haven't yet. We really just vlog re reality, right? I was explaining how, hey, you got to try to get into the resort. These are your options. This is brand new. This is how it's working out. So you'll know if you come and something's new or you want information, the same exact thing could happen. So you will be prepared. That's what we love to do on Meddling World. We bring the fun, the adventure, and all the information. Let's start eating. So Roberta's got on it. She she dumped a little bit of this on because I've been noticing when I try to do the dip, the whole sandwich falls in a lot. And Roberta's taking a nice bite of this. She actually took the cream, uh, the horseradish cream, and put it on the bun. The beef looks a little bit overdone, but no, it's good. It's good, Roberta. Mm -hmm. What are you thinking? It's good. It's like the the meat is soft, the bun is soft, everything is good. It tastes good. It's not too um it's not strong flavor it's just enough it's just like good it's a good bite out it's, it's a good eight and a half for a quick service it's it's good really good guys you know i you know what i'll do is i'll try a little bit of everything and then we'll save the dessert we'll come back and we'll show you the dessert but uh i'll try some of this stuff i'll let yeah. you know what i think actually we'll do it right now with a big chunk Oh, I'll get this nice big chunk right here. I'm gonna switch hands with Roberta. Roberta, do I have some of the juice on there? No. I'm gonna just do one of these real quick. I said, see, this is what happens when you dip it in. It kind of gets a messy, but let's see what happens, guys. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. I can't believe how good that is for a quick service, like just very basic, right? It's a bun with the, the, the yeah. horseradish. The beef is so tender, it's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Wow, guys, listen. If you like just a nice basic beef on whack, that is really good. I'm giving that a, that's a 9.5 to me. With the juice, everything is really good. I love that sandwich one of the best sandwiches I've had at any resort ever. 9.5 all day. Jake's gonna head and try the beef because we love his like reviews. <laughs> yes, he needs an extra. It's good. I'm having another bite. What is your score for that? Eight and a half. It, I can taste it. I can taste everything well. Yeah, good. And there's good beef fans. Matthew, gonna try the Me? other one? Yeah, sure. Jake yeah. is like devoured this thing. There's no way this is gonna beat that uh, beef on wax. Mmm. It is good though. Mmm. Yeah, here's some of that cheese just to show you. I think. <clears throat> Must be, yeah, the pimento cheese. Ooh. Another good sandwich, man. I'm I'm very impressed here with the um, artist palette. That's an that's an eight, and that was just a grab and go. Yeah, Jake, I agree. It's, it's pretty good. I can taste everything. I love the cheese on it. Very good. Here we have the <clears throat> lucky horseshoe cake. So what it is 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 a pie shell with buttercream and chocolate nut filling. So Jake's gonna have honors on this. Oh, it's like kind of hard. Yeah, it's like a pie crust around it. So Jake is saying that that crust is pretty hard. Let's see, <laughs> let, let, let's get the professionals in here. Yeah, Roberta. <laughs> so you could probably just pick it up and eat it. Yeah. It looks like you don't really need a fork and a knife. So no. it is kind of like Jake, as Jake's arms in there. Yeah, look at a little mini pie. Oh, you can see all the nut in there. Oh, that's pretty cool with the chocolate. Oh, that was nice to be able to see what that looked like inside. There goes Jake. Let's see what he thinks of it. I'm going to skip this one only because there's certain nuts that just kind of 
I don't want to say I'm like wicked allergic, but sometimes my mouth kind of gets reaction from certain fruits and nuts. So if it's almonds, it would mess me up. How is it? Roberta just, just tried it. I taste like the um, like nuts and chocolate. Now well, basically chocolate it. nut, so yeah. Yeah, not. That's all I taste. All right, well, it tastes as advertised, but what would you rank it, Jake? Like, you're a dessert guy. Is it one of your favorites? I mean, is it all right? For dessert? I think there's like 7.5. That's a pretty low score for Jake for a dessert. Okay, so. Oh, here, here, comes, here comes the <laughs> boss now. You can have this. Thank you, Jake. All right. <clears throat> the good thing is if you like Nuts. It's Sorry a lot guys, of nuts. I'm shaking the camera. Go it's ahead. a lot of nuts. It's good. Yeah? Yeah. If you like nuts, that's the cake for you. It's a lot of nuts inside, you can see. But Jake is completely right about it. You taste chocolate and nuts. It's as advertised. <laughs> and a little buttercream on but top. But Jake doesn't eat a lot of different kinds of nuts, so it's, he's not a big fan of it. I would, I would give it an 8.5 8. on this. The wow. crust is good. Even though it's hard, but it's the supposed shell. to be like yeah, this. It's, it's like it's a not, pie, yeah. It's not like a hard that is like stale. It's not. It's like you can just pick it right up. Mm hmm. I think it's just beautiful. And guys, we're going to come back and I'm going to do a whole tour here because Saratoga Springs is the theming is horses, right? Horse track uh, in New York, upstate New York. But we'll get more into that the next time. That's kind of out of my memory of some of the knowledge I have because theming and the way the resorts are laid out uh, are really, really awesome. So we're gonna come back. We'll do a full tour of uh, Sarasota Oopsie. Springs. Oopsies. Oh, we broke, oh no, that was the lucky horseshoe. Oh gosh, <laughs> we're in trouble now, aren't we? <laughs> Guys, I wanna thank everybody for watching Medley World today. And again, we vlog, we vlog the way it is. And these foods are so new, I'm so glad. It's like the first day they came out. So, some work to do with the ordering, but it all worked out fine. Disney has amazing cast members. Uh, I'm a former cast member, and Roberta here, a current cast member. So, definitely shout out to all the cast members who helped out and, and got everything straight for us today. And guys, please take a moment, subscribe to Meddling World if you haven't yet. Check out our Patreon. Remember, if you sign up for Patreon, you get your name in every single video description, so you'll be all over YouTube. Um, and last but not least, see ya!